welcome back to the channel if this is your first time of coming across this channel you're welcome my name is elizabeth so on this particular video i just want to be brief i want to do a quick movie review and recommendation so there's this particular movie that i saw i be i've seen <laughs> okay so there's this movie that i've seen a nigerian movie by the way produced by our own I saw this movie during the weekend and it was so so interesting so I felt to do a recommendation for the movie the name of this movie is the Gen Z wife I don't know if you've seen this movie but I have seen this movie and I think it was worth my time and the data spent okay this movie is quite interesting I don't know how you watch your movies mine I watch movies with understanding I actually I don't know how to put it. I digest movies. Let me just put it that way. I am that kind of person that when I, I'm watching a movie, I'm trying so hard to digest it, to understand the angle, to understand the script and where the movie is headed. You get this movie is quite loaded. Initially, there is so much love. You can see this lovey dovey kind of thing during the proposal. You can see. What is it? Where's he now? I love you from the bottom of my heart. I love you with every fiber inside of me. And in my life, I never imagined that I would actually find someone that really, really compliments me the way you do. We are all loving, all dovey. I love you. This, I love you. I love you is a powerful word. They are just using it. I love you. I love you. But there is more to this marriage thing that the Gen Zs do not know. I think that's what they're trying to tell us in this movie. It's not just all about, ah, I'm married though. I'm off the market though. That one, you know, it's not about the excitement. It's not about the wedding. After it, you're going to face the real life issues, the real life thing. You understand so this um you can see chine yenebe she is all lovey-dovey thinking is she's up for the soft life you know using the word i love you you can also see the husband timini is all loving doing his best to be a good husband now the Gen Z wife that thinks that ah getting married is the goal you know my husband loving me, me proclaiming love and that's eating all available, you know, for the bedmatics. And there are more, aside the bedmatics, there are more involved in marriage. Betty, I love you. Okay? Mm -hmm. but, so let's drop the charade and stop deceiving ourselves. I'm tired. I'm tired of carrying the weight of this family on my shoulders. So it'd be nice if you at least have some income so that you are supporting the family. Even if it's just to buy groceries or just like just contribute something that like has to do with the, the running of this house. You, you have, you have to do something. Wait, wait, hold on. She can't cook, she can't clean the house, she can't take care of little little things for her husband. And these things they matter. She has struggled so much in this marriage to meet up because she was not she was not informed you get she was not informed that this is how marriage works because she didn't have the right guidance or the right information about marriage now she was struggling the amazing thing i love about this movie was the love that the husband had even in her imperfections the man was patient enough with her he was there though there were little times they had a fallout babe are you still mad this was a little argument we had earlier it's an argument. You are disrespectful. Call me lazy. But you know I was mad. Mm-hmm. <sighs> no, it's fine. You don't have to apologize. I'm fine now. Yeah. But moved on. So you need to move on to. I don't have to apologize. The man tried so hard to bring back peace in their home, knowing that being the the head of the family it's not just about being the head and bracken i'm the head i'm the head i'm the head you have this um role to play you get when you when husband and wife are fighting it doesn't really matter who apologizes you can also see that she didn't never had issues with apologizing she didn't know how to apologize the husband still tries so much to carry her along try so much to you know tolerate she was she was not given the opportunity she didn't grow up with her mom that was her excuse that she grew up with her dad her mom died when she was young and the dad did the little he felt was was important if i continue to talk about this movie i'll end up telling you everything that happened in this movie okay so i just felt to recommend this movie if you are someone that um you watch a movie with understanding you are not that type that 
you're just clicking clicking you're not giving your attention you're just quick to judge a movie like judging a book by its cover kind of person you are going to actually criticize this movie but if you're someone that you will sit on a movie and you watch it with understanding you would see that this movie has quite a lot to teach both to this our generation and um to everybody every young person every young couple it has a lot to teach there is understanding there is tolerance there is a whole lot in this movie okay even third party interference yes there was third party interference in their marriage side, instead of mine okay, i'm sorry okay? i'm sorry i have no choice i have to do this. you have a choice what right does your mother have to fire someone that i have like in my own house what's your thing is this now hey relax okay remember the number i was speaking about yet they they pulled through this movie is so loving and this movie is produced by Uche Nambonabo. You can go watch it on YouTube, okay? So feel free to tell me what you think about this movie when you see it. And uh, I hope you love my recommendation. And don't forget to like this video, to leave a comment in the comment section and to hit on the subscribe button. Liking this video will make other people to see this video and also watch it and rush and watch the main one because this is just a review. This is just a clip, a short clip or intro about this particular movie, okay? So thank you so much and do have an amazing day. Bye.